Glasgow. Thank you, inexplicable success story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you something. This is an awkward situation for people like me. I mean, what the hell have I accomplished? Look at this. This guy's a comedy giant. I'm supposed to make fun of him? I can only dream of making three good movies and 40 <laughs> ones. <laughs> There are no interesting, famous people up here. Look, myself included, I know I'm nobody, but this was supposed to be a big night for me. I was supposed to rub shoulders with big shots. Look at these people. You've been in 40 films. The biggest movie star up here is Al Franken. <laughs> An OJ roast would have drawn more star power. <laughs> no Aykroyd, no Murray. You couldn't even have gotten any of those midgets you worked with in Under the Rainbow. They always brighten up a room. Bring down the Midgets, we got booster seats, right, Paul? <laughs> There's booster seats. You know, Where are the midgets? Oh, you could have brought some midgets. The guys from Oz could have f***ed them. It would have been a party. <laughs> but tonight is not about midget f***ing. <laughs> tonight is about Chevy. And again, I feel uncomfortable trashing you. You've done things I can only dream of. Only in my wildest fantasies could I even hope to have a six-week run hosting a talk show that made Arsenio seem watchable. <laughs> Your show lasted six weeks. Sally Jesse Raphael's lasted 16 years. That's got to feel good late at night, huh? Hey, oh, Sally! You, I chopped off four years for symmetry. Shut up. <laughs> Sally. 20, it felt like 40. <sighs> good. All joking aside, honestly, it's a thrill uh, to be here honoring Chevy. <laughs> Is it Chevy or Chevy? Che Chevy? Chevy? I don't know. I can't. <laughs> it's a. Uh... It's a, it is, it's a thrill, a Chevy. comedy icon, and living proof that you could actually snort the funniness right out of yourself. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, thank you, and uh, thank you, Chevy. <laughs> Chevy, safe.